everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Disney Plus Winter Soldier figure. So before we take a look at Winter Soldier, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with the right center wing piece for Captain America's wings, and he comes with an alternate set of open hands. So the problem with these open hands is that he does have um, weapon holding hands, but he doesn't have any weapons. Luckily, I had an extra gun from, I want to say Killmonger, I think that's what uh, this one's from. But yeah, um, he holds it really well. So that's what I'm going to be using with this figure since he didn't come with any weapons. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. This head sculpt looks really nice. It's a really good likeness of Sebastian Stan. It, I think it really looks like him. All the printing looks really nice. And his hair is sculpted nicely. And if you look, they even printed some color variation on the hair right here. You get some light brown over top of that dark brown. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. And as you can see, he does have some paint variation to his shirt here. It also has some really nice texturing and sculpt detail to it. Here you can see more of the variation with that dark blue and then that really light blue collar. His new arm looks a lot better than the previous release. This time it's done a really glossy black collar with gold in the lines there and it looks so good. Here it is next to the last version, the Infinity War version with his new arm. And, uh, yeah, this one doesn't look that good at all. Uh, this is the way it should look. So, yeah, they definitely improved upon that from the previous release. Get some sculpted wrinkles to the pants and some glossy boots. So that's about all to go over with this figure, so let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. He has a ball-jointed head that can only look up slightly. It really can't look down at all. The head articulation seems like a downgrade from the previous figures. Um, he can move his head side to side and you get barely any tilting. So yeah, that head articulation could have been a lot better. He has ball jointed shoulders. Uh, the right side moves all the way out and the left side stops right here. As you can see, if I force it anymore, I'm going to snap the arm off right there. He has swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbow that can bend in all the way. Swivel at the wrist that can move side to side and up and down. He has an ab crunch that can move back just slightly. He can crunch down all the way. He has a swivel at the waist ball jointed hips that can just about do a complete split. He can kick forward just a little bit. He can barely kick back. He has swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel at the boot that can move side to side, swivel at the ankle that can move down all the way, up all the way, and an ankle rocker. So for size comparisons, I only have a couple figures to compare him to because um, all of the rest of the um, Falcon and Winter Soldier figures I haven't reviewed yet, so I will be reviewing them soon. The first up, here he is next to the Steve Rogers Captain America. And finally, here he is next to the Infinity War version. And I like this new version a lot better. I just like the way the outfit looks. And uh, the, the previous version was a lot taller than I remember him being. So yeah, there is a size difference between the two. So overall, I'd highly recommend picking him up. He's a really nice figure. Um, the only bad thing is his lack of accessories. He doesn't come with a knife, no gun. He doesn't even come with a weird Nerf looking gun. So I'm not sure why that is. But other than that, he's a pretty awesome figure. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.